Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman. And in this series, we are, will go back to where it all started. And this time round, we will focus on completing as many of the challenges as we can on each and every one of the primary Hitman targets. With maybe a few interesting bonus kills on the way. Today we are in Miami for the Piano Man Challenge, which entails killing one of our targets using the fiber wire. So for today's challenge we will be bringing with us a fiber wire, a ever trusty lockpick, our silence pistol, we have some eggmatic poison stored up at the boat rental hut, and we will be starting in the marina. So with all of that said, let's get reacquainted with our target, shall we? Sierra is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters. I will leave you to prepare. So, right from the start and off the bat, we need to retrieve our poison. So we are going to put down this riveting article on cakes and make our way up off of the pier area here, or the harbour area, and into the boat hut. Just make sure that the patrolling guard isn't around at this point. And in here, just ahead of us, we will find some rat poison. And just behind us, we will find the eggmatic poison we have stashed up. So with our two poisons in hand, we're now going to make our way over to the overpass, which crosses over the racetrack. Uh, we're not going to lockpick our way through the door, that's a bit suspicious. But we will hop over this lower barrier here and into the stairwell. We're going to grab the hammer at the bottom of the stairs and make our way up to the top. We're going to go up three flights and then stop just before the top of the fourth flight. Around about here will do. And we're going to aim our hammer to just out through that gap there. Now eventually one of the two race marshals the one who patrols up and down will make his way over here and look out at the track and when he does we can then launch our hammer at his head thus rendering him unconscious we're going to collect up our hammer grab his body we're just going to hide him around the corner just in case we don't want to disturb the other uh, race official over there because he will look around and see the body so just in case. So once we have the race marshal's outfit, we can then make our way down the far side of the overpass stairwell. So we're now on the other side of the track. We're gonna hang a quick right here. And we're gonna make our way uh, across along the track here, basically, and over the wall ahead of us. And we are heading for the Kowloon Motorhome. So this is basically the exact same run we would do for the hold my hair challenge and the hot shot challenge. So we're going to make our way into the paddock area via the VIP access around to our right into the Kowloon motorhome and out through the back. And just out at the back here we should encounter a patrolling guard. He's not currently here at the moment, but he will eventually make his way along here. And when he does, we can get him out of our way. It's just, he's a, a, he can be a nuisance. It's just easier to get rid of him because we are gonna be taking out a number of people in this area. So once we've got behind the guard, we can render him unconscious. Don't forget to grab his gun. We're gonna hide his body in the dumpster provided then make our way back inside and trigger the hoover. Uh, the hoover is gonna distract the waiter from upstairs and he's gonna come down to investigate. We can then render him unconscious, hide his body, take his outfit and move on. 
So he should be making his way down the outer stairs as we speak. So we're gonna select our fiber wire a little early, put it away, we don't wanna choke this guy. So once he turns off the hoover, we're gonna get behind him, render him unconscious. We're gonna hide his body in the crate in the corner of the room. And we're gonna take his outfit and we're now going to go and poison two bottles so the first bottle is above us on the first floor so we're going to go via the outside stairs over to the table at the back of the room and poison this bottle of beer with one of our eggmatic poisons with that taken care of we're going to make our way back down the outside of the building and we're going to go across to the driver's lounge and we're going this way to avoid, as you can see, the guard enforcers who patrol the paddock area. And we, once we get to the driver's lounge area, we're going to make our way along to the door at the far end. That's just hopefully to avoid the enforcer waitress in the area. So there is Sierra. See you in a minute. So the waitress is going to make her way over, as you can see, to the table on our left. We're going to approach the table in the middle and add our second poison to the bottle of Tabasco sauce. And then we're going to retrace our steps back across the paddock to the Kowoon motorhome and await the arrival of Moses Lee. Now at this point we will have a significant weight on our hands, just making sure that guard isn't going to spot me as I run across the paddock here but it shouldn't do so eventually Moses Lee will finish collecting his trophy and giving his interviews and he will make his way over to the motorhome here and he will go upstairs to relax and part of his relaxation will be to drink from the beer bottle we poisoned earlier so there is our victim as we see him sitting down and relaxing and in a moment he's going to go and drink from that bottle. Now unfortunately for us he gets interrupted before he actually takes a drink and does a bit of posing but then he will go and drink from the bottle and he will make his way down to the toilets on the ground floor. Uh, we're going to intercept him before he gets there as there is nowhere in the toilets to hide a body but there is in the room where we got the waiter's outfit from where we used the hoover. So here comes Moses now he's going to make his way down the stairs and through into the main part of the motorhome on the ground floor and we're gonna stop him before he gets there. So follow him into the building, get behind him, render him unconscious. We're gonna hide his body with the waiter in the crate at the corner of the room. And we're gonna take his outfit. Now this is a pretty good outfit, there's very few enforcers to it. So we can now just run straight out through the building into the paddock area and into the driver's lounge and up to the actual driver's lounge area where we will have to spend a certain amount of time waiting for Sierra Knox to arrive. Now I believe in the um, hold my hair challenge where we utilize this same technique I was waiting around for quite a while but it appears today that just as we arrive, Sierra does too. So at this point, we are going to make our way over to the roulette table with the Tabasco sauce we poisoned earlier on. And we are going to engage in a game of Russian Roulette with Sierra. Here's the deal. There are six shots. One of them is spiked with a solid dripping of chili. Whoever gets it, loses. Easy enough to understand, am I right? I'll let you go first. 
So at this point, all we have to do is make sure we keep an eye on the poisoned glass. And I have opted to take the glass next to it to mark it out. And basically we just got to drink our way through all of these glasses, making sure that the last one remaining is the one with the Tabasco sauce and the rat poison. So it's easy enough to follow and as long as you drink all of the drinks around the poisoned one it's quite simple to keep track of the poisoned one. So there we go with this drink I the dub the the loser. I just hope you know the way to the restroom because when that chili hits you'll be breaking speed records to hit the can. So at this point Sierra will start to feel a little unwell and she's going to make her way to the bathroom just outside of the lounge just in the corner here. We are going to follow her in. Now we need to be aware that this room is frequented by others so make sure you close the door behind you before you go up to your victim. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit and we'll speak again soon. So that will get you the Piano Man challenge. Just remember once again to close the cubicle door when you leave. And because this outfit is so good, we can run straight for the main exit and not worry about any enforcers. So we can just peg it all the way to the end. So there we go, that is the Piano Man Challenge. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.